Okay, today uh, I'm going to teach you how to get better aim. So, um, first thing that you can do is actually use the same sensitivity across all your games. And that's what I recommend doing because if you are good at one game, like, then you can get better at the rest of them, right? If you play a lot of different games, it's way better just to use the same sensitivity. So you, uh, you're developing your aim skill for all your other games, and by playing just one game, you're getting better at all of them. So if you aren't doing this right now, I recommend choosing the game that you have the best aim in and using that sensitivity um, and, like, using a sense converter and I'll link one in the description um, to, you know, change it up. And I recommend using a very, fairly low sense. Right now, I'm using a 17 inch uh, per 360, so I have to move my mouse 17 inches to get one 360 uh, in, like, my game. And this is a little lower than most people would have, but it's what I use, and it works for me really well. And for you guys, I recommend having it so one swipe across your mouse pad would be one 360 and just using that in all your games and if you have a really large mouse pad then like stick to about 15 inches but you sh you're i think that it shouldn't be lower than 10 inches per 360 because at there it's just too sensitive and hitting flicks will get really difficult because it's just harder to control and um, now the third thing I'm going to tell you guys about is AimLab. And this is the program that I have running right now. And AimLab is pretty much an aim training software that you can download on Steam for free. And that free part is why I'm using it, by the way. And um, I personally, my personal results have seen great improvements just from using it for just like a couple weeks. And I've been, like, grinding out an hour every day now, and I'm already up, like, 10% from just, like, three days ago. So, it's, it works. And, um, I'm gonna teach you guys, like, a little training routine that you can do. So, I recommend you play this, like, 20 minutes, um, every day, at least, right? 20 minutes, doing the playlist once, doing grid shot, like, 10 times. That'll really, like, that's good enough, you know? It'll help you, but... Getting to that hour mark really will help you a little more. So what I'm doing right now is I'm playing Grid Shot, which is this task right here. And I'm playing it about five times. And, um, yeah. I'm not very good, by the way. I'm not the best at aiming, but I just want to help uh, other people get better. And this is what Grid Shot is. You just click the circles. It's not the most exciting stuff, but you can make it exciting. Just try to beat your own high scores. Yeah, and then um, I'm going to show you the playlist. So I reckon you play Grid Shot five times before you play the playlist. So this is the playlist. Um, Save playlist here. So in this playlist, I have Spider Shot Speed first, right? Make sure you copy these down in order. Spider Shot Speed first. Second, Micro Shot Speed. Third, Spider Shot Precision. Fourth, Micro Shot Precision. Fifth, um, Strafe Track Ultimate. Sixth, sh Circle Track Ultimate. Seven, Circle Shot Ultimate. Eight, Spider Shot Ultimate. Nine, Micro Shot Ultimate. Ten, Micro Flex Standard. And eleven, Six Shot Ultimate. So, this combines a very, very large variety of tasks that you can do and a um, help you improve on all of your aspects of aiming in any FPS, right? You have tracking, you have flicking, and you just have reaction time building tests, like speed. These speed tasks, they really do help with reaction time. And there is also other specific tasks, tasks, sorry, um, that you can help, uh, like doing the cognition tasks, like decision shot, and um, the precision, and the perception tasks, like the detection ultimate. And you can do these if you want. I personally just don't have them in because they're not super beneficial. They're not necessary, but they do help, definitely. And um, also, you could do the uh, pentakill. Pentakill, I do recommend doing this at least for a couple of days. Um, just to, like get hang of, you know, sh shooting your shots, right? And then after you complete those 11 tests, then you go play grid shot again another five times. And... 
you can see just how your uh, scores improve because you're now warmed up by all of the tasks that you just did before. And doing grid chop before also warms you up as well for the ta uh, for the playlist and for the rest of your games. And now I recommend doing this every time, like this routine, like this 20 minute, 25 minute routine, every time you're gonna play a game, especially competitive. If you're planning to go play a long competitive session, then I think it is imperative that you do this and get your uh, aim all warmed up and try to improve it as best you can before you um, play your competitive games and potentially lose or win points. And just It gives you the best chance of winning. And um, I've been doing this for a while now. I have like 30 hours on the game. And I've been, my high score on good shots, like 78k. And right now I'm like a gold in Overwatch. No, I'm not. I'm a silver. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Ruby too. And it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's exciting. I wouldn't say it's fun, especially. But like, it it's not boring. To me, at least. Maybe different to you. And oh yeah, uh, tip for grid shot. I recommend using a metronome with this. So you start at about 160. Depends how good you are. Uh, start at about 140, 160 uh, beats per minute. And just search your metronome up on Google. Any metronome is fine. Start it at that and then work your way up to about 300 uh, beats per minute because 300 beats per minute is like pro pro, right? 100k scores, 90k scores. So those those are the good good scores. You want to get up to that level, right? So um, that's going to be the end of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This help you. If you do, it'll definitely make my day. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.